Hi, this is the second test using the um, Vache VB P104S, which can provide up to, uh, I think it's 20 microam at around 1 volt. And again, this is the laser inactor version 4, this is the, hand, um, the, the interface circuit, and this is the Adreno, which, going, <coughs> which is going to the desktop. This is the receiver. Again, I'm using the um, current amplifier because the 10 microgram is not high enough for the uh, the Adreno to see. And yeah, the 80 mega actually require one or few micrograms, but I I just want to play safe. So I also have a voltage amplifier. So the first thing I do is to amplify the voltage of the signals and give a window. So I can use some Smith trigger, but I didn't use it because I think it works perfectly with. Uh, what is that? One, two, three, uh, op amp, non inverting amplifier. And I, at the output state, I put a common emitter, sorry, common collector. So it can actually um, amplify the current a bit. So this time, uh, what I find out is the fastest way I can do is 1200 baht rate. So you can see it still flash a lot faster than uh, the 300, so it's four times faster. And let's see how consistent it is. Is the link robust? So let's see. I tap one of bunch of one two three one two three, and seems like I don't have any errors on either side. So now the setup uh, is the same actually, but just a lot further away. Compared to the last time, I was having two fit, two and a half fit. Now I have, uh, let's say, approximately one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and a half. Let's say twelve fit. So now I have a twelve fit distance. And it works probably though. So there was a lot of improvement with the high speed dial. So my assumption works correct. That is the um, the photo cell doesn't switch fast enough. Not the laser dial that can flash fast enough. So I type a testing. So enter. And see what I got on the other side. I just turned on the laser again, so yes, I got a space again for the first message. But nevertheless, I still get the um, the correct message sent. So let's type another thing to test it. Test two. Test space two. Enter. Yes, I got the. I got a correct message. Test space two. It's kind of hard for this to get the right angle. Yes, as for the laser, you can see that. I'm not sure can you see it flashing in this far distance. So I have a very very long message. I don't. Know, I'm not sure can you guys see it. Should flash or dim a little bit. Yeah, you can see the reflection on the wall actually dims a little bit so let me type a bunch of stuff and then enter yep so let's see what I have on the transmitter I have a bunch of one 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 and something should have the same thing on the other side <sighs> yes yeah, so the whole thing is working up to 12 feet probably more but since I don't have a fixture to adjust the laser and for the receiver, so I can't really, uh, you know, position them correctly for a very um, long distance. But this should uh, work very well, judging by this. Alright, thanks for watching anyway.